Hi guys, this is Simeon here. Today I just want to bring out a simple video to you guys and show you uh, my new hatchery that I've been working on. It's not quite done yet, but it's starting to look really cool. And for me, it has been going really, really well with the hatchery business. And um, have doubled my production with the hatching machine, like you know. And uh, will probably build my own and quadruple my production very soon. And we'll see about that. But let's go in the... Um, Hatchery, the first chicks are in there, and see how it looks. Okay, so here we are, and you can see here that in this section I prepared for the chicks. There are two sections because I have two hatching machines, and in every one there are um, roughly 100 chicks, plus minus 20, maybe. Um, so every four weeks each of these will be filled so they're going to be in there for a while and then from there they're going to go into the sections that I've prepared here. I'm using um, these circles because then no chicks can be squished into a corner and die. Um, I'm using two heating lamps. One is a ceramic one in each section and one is a, a red heating lamp. You can see that over there. The front one is um, the red one and then the ceramic one in the back and eventually I will turn off the red one so that they will get better rest at night and not eat as much, get more exercise during the day, put the feet on the side and that way you prevent them from growing too fast and getting um, bad legs or bad toes or something like that. The chicks are doing really well. I've made videos about um, how I start the chicks off right after hatching. I just can mention a few details here. We uh, the first thing we want them to eat is actually some grit, some sand, which really helps the digestion to get started. Uh, I sprinkle some brewer's yeast uh, with that and then they get the feed, which is um, right here. And uh, water is not even that important in the beginning, but they have water there. Um, I usually have nipple waterers for the chicks, but right now um, I haven't come that far yet. I haven't been able to build them and install them because I build them myself. I've made a video about that as well. So um, these chicks are doing well here. We're expecting really cold weather coming up here uh, for like a couple weeks. Um, sub zero, 10, 11, 12, negative, and um, I will have to work on getting the temperature up a little bit in the stable. But by then we'll have the other two heating lamps on here as well. Um, but these guys are doing really well here and happy as could be. I'm starting the chicks off with this organic starter feed and I use one bag per batch and then I um, feed them my normal feed that I pick up at a local mill here um, and that, that is a good measurement for me so it takes about three weeks for them to go through one bag and then I slowly adjust them uh, to the other feed. If you would have turkey chicks or something they will need to be on this for a longer time, they need more protein. Now the last time um, I filmed here in the hatchery I was working on it. Um, I did a bunch more stuff in here that I wasn't able to film because I've been so extremely busy uh, with all the orders coming in and with preparing everything. So we are also getting cows next week, more cows. Um, so I've just been working. Somebody said I want to see less talking and more action. Well the thing is the busier we get and the, the farm is priority uh, the less fancy filming there will be um, but at the same time we are working on uh, still providing good material to you anyway I've built this here it's in, th it's in three sections um, that just fit really well um, each section we can comfortably put 50 birds in full grown which means we could have more in them at a younger age this just helps me to separate them at the different ages and the different orders that we will have. Um, these are the doors. We ordered netting for them, uh, which is going to come next week. We don't need this yet. The chicks are still in the, uh, in the little area there. I just want to show you guys a few things that I thought about and that we really wanted to build in here that make life a lot easier. So the first thing is here, uh, this walkway is just wide enough for us to drive um, or back in with our ATV trailer, our quad trailer, and then we can just empty the manure right on there, drive it out on the garden or pasture. Uh, we're using the 
um, deep bedding system again I've made a lot of videos about that uh, you see I used boards here just to get it up from the ground and um, I'm gonna be filling in more wood shavings here we fill it in uh, right from the beginning and if you have um, about um, three square feet um, per chicken or about three to four chickens per square meter um, this will be um, the right amount of chickens for the manure load that they can still work all the manure into the um, into the ground here so I have this section this section and this sections now here I haven't um, fixed the walls yet you can see here in the chick area I've disinfected all the walls um, we um, just put that on there it's not a paint it's this I, I think it's like yeah it's some kind of calcium hydroxide um, it says there on this bag you can't see that um, that just really disinfects these uh, these walls we're gonna do that everywhere still haven't come that far been really busy so these doors here as you can see they are um, they don't have a, a lock here but instead they are connected with this rope to this piece of wood um, that is both that way I can save money on um, not having to buy these locks this was much cheaper plus the thing is that I can just go in here and they will close by themselves and that way I can never leave the store open chickens will never go out and the other thing is if I ever need to have the door stand open you can just go ahead and put it in this position and you see the rope is up there and it just stays into place very nicely but as soon as I put it here it closes and um, that's just one of the things that's gonna be very nice to have if you have both hands full you go in there you have to go in that back section um, to get something then this door will just shut by itself behind you don't have to worry about it I have this door back there that I will put the styrofoam in front so it's gonna be completely insulated more than that we're gonna have the bell waters hanging down from here so um, easily accessible the buckets water we can just fix here we can just go with the hose from here and fill it all in um, like I said in a different video this time it takes me to fill these in um, I can just look at the chickens and all of that um, and be sure that they have all they need sometimes these bell waterers get plucked uh, when they get maybe uh, a piece of oat in there that when you throw it to the chickens or something like that and um, if you have an automatic system the risk is also that you never check on that in the back there will be roosts for them to go on and I will also have the opportunity still to put a heating lamp in the middle because when they go in here and it's too cold they might actually all squeeze in a corner still like remember the ch uh, chick area had no corners and um, here are still corners we'll have to see about that how the temperatures are and all of that by the time they go in here I hope it will be warmer right above here remember this is the old cow stable and um, all the hay is up on top there so it's insulated with meters thick of hay which is really nice for the stable this is how it used to be and then towards the spring um, the hay was obviously eaten up and um, then we don't need this insulation anymore so that's really nice for us right now super excited about this for me it's uh, ramping it up to the next level um, giving it a bit more of a professional touch um, we have been working um, in the way that people have to commit to their orders which means it takes me the time to hatch and then raise the hens up to 16 weeks where they start laying um, and so that is a long time that's four to five months or five to six months depending on the time and we have worked with the customers that they have to pay half of the money up front and half when they pick up their animals and um, it, it has been a that has been working great I have money up front that I can work with here to make this area really nice it just helps you to keep going um, work with the customers like that it has been a bit hard because customers want to have the chickens right away but we can't hatch in advance and then have nobody to pick them up and end up with all these uh, chickens so we also have quite a bunch of people that bought uh, roosters not enough we will have a bunch of roosters left over um, we hope that we can build a hatchery um, excuse me we hope that we can build a butcher shop eventually and sell them as a premium product as well 
and event eventually we we just want to raise those out on pastures but that will be a challenge as well because um, people want their ready to lay hens ideally in the spring so that means you have to raise them in the winter time and then you have the roosters that were not raised on pastures but indoors we'll see how we uh, deal with all of these challenges as we go but we're really happy um, there are a bunch of customers who just want uh, 10 20 30 ready to lay hens but then we have um, gotten several new customers that have really been wanting to test this breed and look into it for um, small farm agriculture you guys know that we sell directly to customers um, through these Rico rings and the there are some farmers who do that and we've gotten some orders of a red a hundred ready to lay hands and so on which is really exciting those are the kind of customers we want and build relationships with really excited about this April May they'll go out on pasture already they'll be able to fertilize our fields till our garden areas and so on before they go out to the customers and that way we benefit uh, from that as well hope you enjoyed this update um, thanks for watching and stay tuned subscribe to not miss upcoming updates and videos I'll see you soon bye bye